here we go. Mods on air. Two FPS, three RPGs, and five sim type games. Yeah. I think you'd be able to come up with one here. I'm actually pulling this one hard. Ask all the people that need hacks to play Call of Duty. I can hear you groaning oh, inwardly yeah. every time sins mention you just cringing. Oh. Hey, welcome to episode, I think it's 395, of Mods on Air, bringing you the week in gaming news as modders, developers, and gamers ourselves. I am Foilman, and also on the show today, we have with us Breezy. Hello, Breezy. Hello. Hello, and we also have Welshie. Hello, Welshie. Hello. Strider is somewhere um, in the middle of time and space, and uh, we don't know where Ham is, so hopefully he's okay. Uh, yeah, so before we begin, let me remind you all that the show is uh, performed before a live audience, of which you may be a part. <laughs> It's a performance. It really is. Uh, we, we're going to have uh, some relevant gaming topics, probably, that we'll be talking about. Um, Maybe. And uh, some other things to talk about. Uh, who knows? Just stick around, and, and you may be entertained. <laughs> <laughs> you may not be. Who you may say? not be. I'm not going it's to guarantee luck. anything. It is. It's potluck. Uh, <laughs> bring your own entertainment. Um, no, please don't. I don't want to know what it is. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of things to talk about. There may be some explicit language or adult themes, so I just want you to be warned in case that kind of stuff offends you. And if it does offend you, then off with you. Um, so we have some stuff to talk about. Uh, and some issues to work around, so hopefully everything is streaming correctly for you. And if it is not, don't worry, uh, on Friday I'm going to the Twitch, this. I still see an old episode. I'm not sure how that's possible yeah, yeah, I got that nothing's problem playing. Too. I don't I'm like watching right watching an episode that I'm not even there for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. So apparently there is quite a bit of lag in today's episode. I I, I don't know why. I don't know how you can be watching an old episode since I am yeah, I'm still, broadcasting I'm still this. It. I just yeah. refresh and I can still see it. Where in the episode are we? Are we watching Burning? Uh, we're watching some sort of takedown. Yeah. It says 394 Wait. recorded live September 22 across the top. Takedown? That is not even near the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so we are like an hour ahead. We are an hour in the future right now. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. What? Yeah, nobody's, just watch it. nobody's watching this right now, so we are just, we're not recording this before live anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awkward. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you because I have no control over what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Figure it out. Moving onwards. <laughs> Moving on. Let's talk about Nvidia. Wolf sees the old show as well. I wonder if he hears the old show too. Uh, yeah. Oh. Start again. How is that even happening? <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. That's Twitch. That's not us. Is it just because it's so behind? How can it be so far behind? I don't know. <laughs> what is this bullshit? I, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. All right. So take two, take two. All right, we are gonna, you know, uh, let, let's start off with some Nvidia stuff. Nvidia wants you to know that uh, it's not possible. It's no, it's no longer possible for consoles to be better than PC graphics. And I'm trying to figure out why is it no longer possible. I thought it was always impossible for <laughs> consoles to have better <laughs> yeah, graphics. I was thinking that myself. <laughs> it's it doesn't really make any sense. It's, it seems to me just another one of these, like, every every two or three weeks you see one of these topics where it's like, what? this is why PC gaming is dying, and then the next next week you see one that's like, this is why console gaming is dying. It just feels like it's one of those, like, somebody in an NVIDIA office went, yeah, let's just, we need to get in the news, we haven't, we haven't been there for a bit. Let's just throw this out. It's no longer possible to be better. It's a, a no-brainer comment, that's why I just don't exactly. understand. It's, it's obvious, I mean... It's news for That's, the sake. Of it. it is like you take you consider uh, a high-end graphics card now that would set you back 
about five hundred pounds British oh, pounds. Wait, 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 wait. How high end? Because they have the thousand dollar versions out there. Oh yeah, you've got the Titans out there, but I'm right. thinking your standard, your GTX 780 is five hundred pounds. Okay, this there's graph no right way you here. can put that in a console. Here, let me let me show you the graph where it shows the GTX oh, 680. The <laughs> All right, oh. the GTX 680 <laughs> is above the PS4. Yeah, 680 is above the yeah. PS4. That's, uh, that's, that's two, two generations. Well, one generation ago, two three hundred USD, probably um what two hundred uh, two hundred two hundred pounds or something. A friend of mine just put two of those in a, in a, in his PC. Mm -hmm. But yeah, your console is way more powerful. And PS4 is not even out yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so so imagine what the Titan will do it's, for you. It's always been this way, though. This is such a non-story. Nothing yeah. new. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. It's nothing new, other than the fact that there's a new, there's two new consoles coming out, and they're fighting it out between yes. themselves. And it's kind of yeah. like trying to drag PC gamers into it, and we're all just kind of like, well, <laughs> no, we've always had better stuff than you. Yeah. And it's not just graphics wise, if you take into account dedicated sound cards, your processing power as well. Right. Memory. It's always been a more powerful. See so if you want a serious seat. My laptop has more memory in it than two PlayStation 3s. Probably three PlayStation 3s, in fact. So if you want to get serious, get a PC. Hook that up to your TV. And I've yeah. got to be honest. A lot of people are turning that way. Uh, in work, I've had a lot of people recently asking me about gaming PCs. Uh, a lot more than I ever would before before the announcement of uh, the new consoles. So I think people are looking at it as a as a way to go now. Mm. Yeah, they could be, especially when we have a. No, I can't say that. I want to say especially since Steam is pushing it, but Steam is not necessarily pushing people away from the current, uh, the, the next gen consoles. Steam is just adding to your <laughs> current yeah. gen PC or something, aren't they? I, well, first of all, let's let's talk about what Steam has just announced. Steam just announced. Not only are they talking about some Linux gaming, but they they announced this thing, Steam controller. This so is ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, yeah, um, it's. A, I'm not sure what to make of it, since you can take any controller pretty much off the shelf and plug it in and play, so why yeah. do you need this? Um, the other thing is, uh, going off, I can't see the picture, but going off the one I saw, just so I'm going from memory here, but the the joysticks are like flat discs. Yeah. They're not um, They're not joysticks. No, it's probably yeah, yeah, even spongy, that, yeah. right? It's probably spongy, it's uh, probably not even a hard surface. Yeah, which to me makes it look really difficult to be accurate with. I mean, well, I have trouble with control, like trying to play shooters on the controller already. You, you'll take a look at one of the articles in there where Steam controller, some of the game developers sound off on the beta version of this thing, and they are like, it takes some getting used to, but then they like it. I'm not, I don't like that. I have to get used to something. No. Why isn't? It, why do I have to get used to anything? Why isn't it just like intuitive? So intuitive that there's nothing to get used to. I'm just using it. Hmm. And it is like you say. There, there is no need for this. I have a controller plugged into my my PC at the moment. <laughs> there's a it's, there's a picture on it that. Works. There's a picture on that uh, article. Second picture down. It's a guy like using it, kind of looking at the screen, but directly to his right on like a coffee table or something. Yeah. Is an Xbox pad. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you already have. Yeah, it's like I have an Xbox pad. It's over there. It does the job as much as I hate Xbox. It's right. the lesser of two pain in the asses because you just plug it in and it works. Mm. Well, look at some of these controls uh, options. There's a button on here for push to talk, a button on here for partner view, which is for Portal 2. So I guess that's important, really. People still play Portal 2. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a there's a button on there for the orange portal, a button for the blue portal. That makes sense. Shoot one, shoot the other. Zoom in. A look option. Communi more communication options. Gesture menu. So they got a lot of buttons on here. A lot of buttons well, that you may just, or may not need yeah, to this, use. This is just like an example, though, of if they were to mm -hmm. use it for Portal 2, isn't it? Yes, it is. Quick yeah. save, screenshots, quick load, chat messaging. So they're they're really trying to get into this whole social aspect of it, of, of Steam, which I really should, because I think that's an important part of gaming. Hi, Ham. 
Hello. Hey. Hey. God, somebody with some actual research. Hams in sync with Twitch. Yeah. Hams <laughs> on Twitch time. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we're talking. Uh, so Ham, we're talking about this new uh, co a controller that Valve has announced, and how it, it's interesting, but it's different, and how the developers are talking about how they have to get used to it. So it's not instant pick up and use. Well, it it looks like you would have to get used to it. it doesn't look like it would come naturally at all, and that may not be because it's not intuitive. It may just be because we're so used to the way a traditional gamepad might be um, that we've just come to accept that this is the way things should be naturally. Uh, although, just from the looks of it, it looks pretty weird. <laughs> well, they're saying that something underneath of those uh, rubbery pads, here I'll go back a picture so you can see them better, the will it is controllable. There's something under there that you can morph the feel and uh, during gameplay. As a, progr as a programmer, as a developer of the game itself. They're saying, this means that the controller will morph into whatever you need it based on how you program it. Right. They did mention something about haptic feedback and yeah. it being sort of so precise that you can even reproduce textures. And so there was, uh, I talked to some people and there was this thought that possibly you could um, reproduce a texture almost like you are dealing with some analog sticks. And it Maybe from that quote, it sounds like it, that might be correct. Yeah. Okay. People are still having Twitch issues, and I'm thinking of just stopping the feed and starting the feed over on Twitch itself. You guys have any issue with me just stopping and starting uh, during the show? Mm, nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop it and start it then. Still watching last week's episode. Exactly yeah. my point. Okay, it did fully stop. Is there anything I can change about keyframes? No, there's no setting for keyframes, so it's what it is. If you stop the feed, it's there. Still I started it. Oh, there we go. No, it's still playing last week's show. Uh, I just refreshed it. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Now I see us. Is that what time us? of day? <laughs> us now or us yesterday? <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> it may be like four hours ago, but it is a. <laughs> hey, yeah, I can see some. Yeah. Oh, no, I got out Fuck off with your Samsung Chromebook. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have the this <clears throat> this controller, which, you know what, I'm not sure. I guess we all have to get our hands on it, and there there might be a a chance for us all to get our hands on it because Steam is doing some sort of like get on the beta developer um, beta hardware thing by getting all these badges and then uh, possibly being chosen out of a hat somewhere on the yeah. two. You <laughs> and all two hundred thousand other people, right? Yeah. <laughs> is it is it only two hundred thousand? They did. There is like two hundred eighty-seven thousand, I think, or something like that. I saw last. I did when, actually look. Yeah, when the last time I looked, it was 188,000 something. Okay. But that was over a day ago, so <laughs> it's it's probably well into the 200,000 now. Well, this thing is maybe going to be meant to work with the Steam OS, which we're talking about uh, also coming to, with a new operating system that I don't fully understand, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> because th is, is there much information that goes with the Steam OS yet? I don't think there is. No, really. you can you can um, read some it's, things. It's Linux. It's going to be Linux based, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They've been we we we've kind of known that throughout the past few weeks that they've been looking Which, for Linux developers, and they're they're saying now that it's going to be an architecture of Linux. Which just seems just so pointless to me. What? How? Well, because there's, you're going to have to either there's going to be nothing to play on it, <laughs> and then you're going to have to wait for them to because I do believe they're like yeah we're going to recode some stuff to make it and it's just like uh oh good I can play counter strike well you know why <laughs> this is potentially um a very important is because this could knock a hundred bucks off of every machine yeah true definitely true um 
or manufacturers could keep the same price and get a bigger <laughs> bigger margin. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, I mean, it's possible. Um, but still, yeah, you've got, you got that possibility that you have no license for the OS. Um, right. And, and here's the thing. It's going to be, according to them, it's going to be an entire OS. So you still will be able to run other software, uh, other Linux-based software, but uh, I suppose the focus. Linux. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you run a server <laughs> off it. That's about it. Yeah. Your web server, yes. You're, you can run your website on it. <laughs> I, I, install I don't know. Pl I, install Plex and stream your movies. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was about to say. Like, but then even if you're going to do that, <laughs> Just go and buy like uh, one of those Raspberry PIs if you want to do that, and just hook it up to your TV, which actually runs doesn't run Linux though. So but it does. It does. Raspberry. You yeah. can make it run. Yeah, you can make. Yeah. It. yeah. Oh, you can. Okay, because I know that there's a they have their own uh, system to run. No, we we uh, we did. didn't work uh, like ah. two three weeks ago. And then you just uh, SSH into it from uh, from any computer. You're good to go. Hmm. Well, here's some of the other things that Steam actually wants to add to this. So they do want to turn this into an entertainment system. They want to make their own Xbox One, I guess it is. They'll have in-home streaming of the home network straight to your TV. I don't know. I don't understand how that's any different than, let's say, Chromecast. Um, <laughs> except that it's we don't even know if it's wireless. We. It. I'd hope so. That's one of those things I... Just say it's a given. Mm -hmm. You'd hope. Well, but have they? It's they've announced the OS, but have they announced any kind of hardware to go with this? No. no. They've so announced right now streaming music it and could TV. Could just literally be. It's a download on Steam. Well, it, it will be. They. The only thing they've said is that we've got hardware partners that they are going to announce other things. Uh, later. okay. So they, yeah, yeah. they still okay at this point have not. Right. I mean, I'd expect to see uh, an Alienware. HP, whatever, Asus, Steam <sighs> machine. For way too much money. For way too much money, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I, this should, you should be able to yank out your old computer from five years ago and run this thing on this. Which, well, I mean, you should be able to. It's going to be, they, they are going to give you the OS for free, so you don't necessarily have to buy the hardware. You can still just download the image. I just don't. I don't see the point. They've they've come out with this big picture mode. Like, why would I then want to put Linux on something and run it for my like? You've oh, well, you've got all these people claiming whether it's true or not. But you've got all these people claiming this vocal minority that says if it weren't for games, I'd definitely be on Linux. And we'll see if that's really the case because you know if people say one thing and then they definitely just do another. But how many of them are actually saying it? Is it like five people who happen to be very vocal? <laughs> I mean, that's the whole Linux users, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's all of them. I've, I've seen a sizable number of people who say if it weren't for X, then I would not be on Windows. Mm -hmm. And I could almost say the same thing about myself. If it weren't for some of the digital content creation programs and, and if it weren't for games, I probably wouldn't be on Windows 8. I can say that. Well, actually, I guess I don't need to be on Windows 8 for that either, but I just made that mistake of installing the OS. Um. Yeah, but I, you're right. I use too many programs that rely on Windows itself. Yeah. There and are no Linux versions. It's It does beg the question of who is who is this for? Because the people who play PC games are happy to build their own computers. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like, well... The, the the hardcore PC game is not going to bother with this because there's too many games they want to play. Yeah, that aren't going to be for this. The middle level guys are just going to be like, well, if I want to play on my TV, I'll just use that big picture mode. Yeah, I can use my nice, awesome PC that you know is an i7 and has like three GTX 60s in it. <laughs> um, and then it's almost as if they want us to then go, okay, well, let me let me just install Linux on this computer I've got, and then I can not play anything apart from Counter Strike and Gary's mod. Yeah, this yeah. is a, this is just a toy that isn't going to be used. So the I, I've been trying to sort of think this week in my head about how how is this going to play out? How will this be successful? Because I can see many ways it's not going to be successful. But yeah. I'm trying to think how is it going to be successful? And the only thing I can really think of, I can imagine a scenario 
and it may be far fetched, but I can imagine a scenario where you've got a friend who's all about the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One, and they're having a great time, and and then a friend comes along who has a Steam machine, and he says, "Look at this! I don't have to pay extra money to play online, and I can download all sorts of content for free, and look at all these sales for great games I'm getting at at barely any cost." And, and just sort of look at all the stuff that I can do without having to pay somebody else and look how cheaply I can do it and look at all these upgrades I can do or look at all these peripherals I can use that you can't use on your console. And so that friend might convince the person on a console to say, okay, let me try this out. And, and they can sort of open up that world of PC gaming to them. That's the only sort of... Provided the game that is work on Linux. That's just it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to say. That's the only problem with this is, or with that, is is the fact that that guy, that Xbox guy, or whatever, goes. So, uh, can I, you know, can I play GTA Five? Uh, no. No. Can I play <laughs> Battlefield Four? Uh, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. It's just now. gonna. Like, um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's. I can. There's a possibility I could see. You know, Steam doing a bunch of work and getting games like that to work on this. Mm-hmm. But it's not gonna be like tomorrow. Right now. It's gonna be months down the line. Like, it's just like. Uh. All right. And. T- Take your gaming PC with an HDMI cable, plug it, into, plug your it TV, into your TV, and you're done. The <laughs> monitor I'm using right now is a TV. Yeah. It's like <laughs> now there there is a possibility since they're going to have this line of Steam machines. There's that small possibility that there may be a sort of a one hundred dollar or sub one hundred dollar Steam machine, so to speak, that just plugs one into your PC, the other into the TV, and that's your Steam machine. It's sort of running a lightweight Chrome OS where you're streaming your your game to any. It's, it's the Chromecast basically streaming to any PC or any TV. But it's not now, announced. right? The right now, Steam it's not doesn't now. have something like that. Then there is, as far as you know, there is no way to take a big picture mode and stream it through Chromecast. Yeah, as far as I know, no. And there's so no TV. I need, to is, you know, hmm? I need a the big picture mode. I like the idea of, but the problem is, I got my desk here. My TV is all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like That's my problem too. There. Yeah, and the only other problem is, well, I use a headset which is plugged into my sound card, which means if I right. did, even did run a lead, I'd have to mess around with my sound sends mm-hmm. every time to get volume. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Didn't you, do, you did research on that too, didn't you, Breezy? Trying to figure out how to do I, that? I did try to figure out how to do it um, via splitters and all sorts, but it never worked out. Mm-hmm. I've, I've got a, a machine that's not as powerful as, as my main desktop here, and it's sort of in this, this room in this new house. And I've got the PC hooked up, and I run big picture mode there. But, I mean, it's a secondary machine, so it's not, it doesn't have as, as powerful graphics card. I have to sort of limit what I run on it. Um, it has, it, there's, there are some weird issues when it comes to audio and as far as getting the controls to work, uh, there's some games I want to play but there I need the keyboard and mouse or I need to buy a wireless keyboard and mouse and it just, it doesn't work out as smoothly as I would like. Right. So I'm running big picture mode but it's not still that smooth experience. And I guess that is the problem when it comes to uh, PC gaming on a TV. Is that no? But there is no set of rules that say this is all you have to do to make it happen. Mm. Some cases you need it's, a keyboard. No. Some cases you need a game controller. It does. You don't know. It's right. very um, uh, environment dependent. So depending on what you have, like we've got a big ass TV in the living room, but it's not in here, so I'd have to run like a cable. Mm-hmm. But well, technically then, but I've got a laptop, so I could just pick up my laptop and go and put it next to the TV. But that's nice. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, by the sounds of it, we're excited for what could be, and we're unexcited for what is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great way to put it. Okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, there are some other things coming out though. Like, uh, I did start to tell you that Valve needs the beta testers, and that in order to do that, you head over to Steam, check out your badges, and in your badges, there'll be, there'll be something in there for how to get into this, into the beta test. Um, like some of the things I had to do was fill out a form and I still have to play on big picture mode and have it register as being played on big picture mode, which I don't know what it takes to register as such. I guess you have to use a game controller for it to be... Uh, no, you, you can, have to use a, a you game can still pad. use big picture mode with the mouse and keyboard. So I, I tried I, this morning. I fired it up once to see what it would do. I, mean, I tried this it, morning and I did not get a badge. Yeah, it, it <laughs> oh, says, I, don't know, I haven't tried the badge thing. 
it says that you have to launch you have to launch a game with the gamepad using big picture mode. Yeah, with the gamepad. Uh. Yeah. Somehow so. they know. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the only, <laughs> They're that's watching the only, you. Yeah, that's the only thing left <laughs> before I'm in the pool of millions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the time they select a few next month, it's going to be probably, yeah, just a, a, some fraction of a million, if not a million. Well, the other option is instead of trying to get your computer to go over to your TV, how about just start to play on your phone or your tablet or something like that? I know that it's not an ideal way to go, but what if they start opening up the streaming capabilities? What if they took Steam and they said, okay, let's stream it to any device that you want? That, is that is that something? And hmm. then you start saying, okay, well, here's my controller. If you look at the picture that I have up there, they have a controller that goes with your, uh, with what, iOS 7, I guess, right now, called the... Uh, because yeah. because iOS seven now has the uh, has something in the uh, operating system that allows it to connect more with yeah, supposedly with greater ease to a controller. But yeah, built in support for game pads. It also makes it waterproof. Stop. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Best story ever. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially what if nobody's like what? Uh there was a, a prank advert, I guess, that went out. I don't know if it was on TV. I doubt it was on TV. It was on the internet, I guess. That basically said that uh, the, the new iOS update makes the iPhone, your current iPhone, waterproof. And a bunch of people went and put their iPhones in water to see if it would do anything. And they broke their phones. Mm. Yep, yeah, I know on good authority that iPhones do not like falling in you know, big vats of water, I have done it myself. <laughs> I don't start be, like being out in, in the rain when it's just slightly wet. Humid climate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a good idea to be submersing, submersing your uh, hardware, your electronics into nope. water. No, no, no. And even if it was, just because it can get wet doesn't mean you have to get it wet. To try it, yeah. 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 <laughs> but now, as, is, far that as far as is that other phone that's like waterproof? Mm, yes, the, there is one, so, like a Nokia and or the, something. The ad, yeah, and the the commercial for it is them like in the shower and <laughs> underwater. And it's like just because you can get it wet. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing right now? Showering. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I saw this this packaging for a watch. It was a, a waterproof watch, and it came in a bag of water. And oh. uh, I think I think if you have a waterproof phone, that should, she's coming in the packaging. The packaging should be a bag of water. Yeah, but then if you just open it and get water everywhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the cost of shipping now, Laz. Yeah, it's not light. Um, so this uh, now I don't know. I still have trouble understanding what the big deal is here regarding iOS seven handling these new input. So what? I mean, I could program it to accept these inputs already. Why do I need it to do it natively? What's the difference? Isn't it just like saying the equivalent of pressing up is the equivalent of pressing this key, and the equivalent, and the equivalent of pressing this is the equivalent of doing that? And yeah, okay. but that is a standard format to it. Yeah, it's a sure. unified interface for it to interact with. It. <laughs> it's just like, uh, alright. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just keep doing it the way I was doing it. and uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why suddenly there's this increase in games coming. Oh, wait. There are no games coming. Uh, no. no. Alright, never mind. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, what about this one here? We have the Virtualizer. The VR. Now, we... The, Remember we went and talked to the Virtuix guys over at PAX who, you, you know, mm -hmm. you stand in this pad and you run in this um, convex-shaped giant dish dish with special shoes. You don't need special shoes. You just need socks with this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Save that's so every, that's every, every eight-year-old's dream where they used to run around on lounge flooring and yes. hide. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what's going on with this one, which I... I enjoyed watching. Jeez, I go like, yay, wearing socks. So, um, I think he is also wearing the uh, yes, the Oculus Rift there, and he's running around inside of the uh, this device that <coughs> moves up and down with you, as opposed to the other one. 
Did you notice the other one? Uh, the Virtuix does not move up and down. It's like, this is you. You're set. In this uh, one, you can actually, like, pick up your legs adjust. and fall to the ground and break your knees. <laughs> on screen, he's in, like, a warehouse. If I tried yeah. doing that in my house, I'd fall down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There he They've is, all got this like safety harness as well. But yeah, well. You're, you're kind of surprised. running against the safety harness, which I can't imagine is a good thing. This is just all so crazy. Eh? This is just ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Who runs like that with their legs no, together? But it was the same with the Virtuox. He was running without, because of the harness, he was running without moving the top half of his body. So he's doing That's this weird, like. Do you see how complex that harness too is <laughs> as well? <laughs> <laughs> like, it takes you 40 minutes to get locked into it, and, and uh, you have to have a buddy with you because you can't get out of it without it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that, something like that would be good for sort of training for actual professionals to do something. I don't know, but you can't. Nobody's going to have this in their house. This is crazy. Yeah, but what kind of professional? <laughs> what, can be, what can be done better? <laughs> <laughs> just running. I don't know. Yeah, all right. All right, listen up, Marines. We we got a 16 mile hike to go on. Now strap in, and they're all strap. Like, just go on the hike. I like this better than the Virtuix system, where I have to buy special shoes. True. Uh, at least you don't have to. There's one last thing you have to buy. Yeah. Here we just wax our slippery plate every now and then, and yeah, buy some like socks. <laughs> Only the wax. <laughs> I hope they've done proper tests on it to see what happens when you spill, like, you know, Mountain Dew on it. Yeah, yeah. It gets clogged up with Doritos. <laughs> or if, you know, the socks you're wearing haven't been washed in seven years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what if you don't own socks? What if, you don't what own if there's socks? a fat man? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta fit in that ring, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what, let, let's you go back... People Let's the go. news are going to have to be cut out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get back to that point. Is there a point where they zoom in a little bit and show you that you have to be like... A certain... There you go. See, you, you must have um, a 32-inch waist or less in order to fit in the ring. <laughs> oh, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Two quarters of the uh, player base gone, by the way. <laughs> oh, well. Good luck, guys. <laughs> now, where where is this thing? Is this thing being um? It, it it's being done over at a school, but are they anywhere? Else? They're not anywhere else. They're not on Kickstarter yeah. or anything it's, like that. It will still never be as good as that that one that was like the war, the moving treadmill. That like there was a dish still, but it was that moving treadmill, oh. and the guy he did it with the they had the dome projector around him. Okay. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. It, it that. was probably the best one I've seen. Was that the gadget show one? Yeah, that was the gadget show. He was playing like, was Call it? of Duty with the paintball guns. Uh, yeah, it was like his battlefield, wasn't it? And they had the ring of oh, uh, paintball yeah. guns. Right? Yeah. And it was so, just like a treadmill on the floor, omnidirectional treadmill, and you just kind of walked, and you could go yeah. side to side. You could. You didn't have to have a freaking harness around you in case you accidentally run off your balcony. <laughs> well, you know, apparently looking at the comments, which I didn't do before, I, I, I've been... Doing this, uh, I've, I've been talking about the uh, Virtuix all wrong. Because here's a comment: Looks like the Virtuix Omni to me, except not as aesthetically pleasing, and without the cool Omni shoes. <laughs> 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 oh, they were just trainers with like discs for on the bottom. Yeah, so apparently those shoes are a selling point. My mistake. I didn't realize. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, g continuing with in in the realm of controllers, we have iMotion 3D controller. This is a controller. It's not something that goes on your head to make you look like you're in Splinter Cell. <laughs> um, apparently, it has a f haptic feedback and it works in in 3D space. And um, works in 3D space. Okay. So yeah. In other words, it'll tell you. It, it it gauges distance. So in other words, if you hold it, put it on your hand, and you push forward like you were a mime pressing against a glass plate, it would feed oh, back okay. and tell you you're pressing it and it feel like you're pressing against something. Okay, I didn't realize it's strapped to your hand because I'm like, yeah. Yeah, how could it's projecting force field? For some reason, me? he's also got one round his waist, which I'm a little bit suspicious of. Yeah. <laughs> That's just busting movements. <laughs> <That's> the, uh... <laughs> 
That's for the uh, X version, rated X version. Yeah, the the porn version. <laughs> <laughs> Again, who wants this? Who is ever going to buy this? You know what I think is absolutely ridiculous about that? What she was just doing there, controlling, like, I don't know what it was, like What's Netflix or something. Snowboard kids. <laughs> but, like, she was like this, right? In front of the TV, going like this, selecting the track. She's this far away from the TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, use the remote. <laughs> <laughs> or just press the buttons on the front. Yeah. It's, it does seem... And there you go. Hook your laptop up to your TV is the first thing you have to do. So while she's got it right... Yeah, just he's on buy it. a laptop. <laughs> this, it's an interesting idea, but it, it doesn't work yet. It's, it's, it not something, it's not the device that we need. It's I mean, not filling a void. This, it's, this? Yeah, exactly. It's, like, it's, like, it's just there because somebody thought it would be fun as opposed to... <clears throat> you know what I really is, need is the ability to... Like in this video, they're aiming towards this whole no screens, let's move your mm. Windows 8 fucking tabs about everywhere. But <laughs> nothing else is up to it yet, so it's just mm. it's pointless. There's, this is, there's going to be this sort of wave of devices that go nowhere because everybody thinks that this is needed. We, we I mean, we don't. You, you've got this, you've got the funky foot, remember that? <laughs> from shows Stinky ago, foot. Stinky, yeah. foot. Stinky foot. You've got I don't know the what is what's the the thing with the fingers that's been out recently. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but yep. Yeah, that, that it's thing. a little device that's about this big that fits right under your screen. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's you've, you've got you got the Virtuix Leap Motion, Leap Motion. That's what that's it's called. That's a leap. Yeah, it's just you've got all these things, and all of it somehow is a compromise, and it pales in comparison to just the mouse that we've been using. <laughs> but you know what? Time. We are putting it down a little bit, but on the other hand, we should be thanking them because what they are doing is perhaps going somewhere with this. In the end, we'll end up with perhaps with a device that actually is good because they've already tried all the crap. Now let's You're get, right. let's get that's, <laughs> out of this, that's out of our system. <laughs> <laughs> we know these things don't work. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> you're right about that. So we gotta, we gotta try. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You should think positively. <laughs> yes. So, you know what? Hit this up. Final retail version will be about $79 US dollars. Or you can join on the Kickstarter for about 50 or 60 bucks hmm? each. And you need yeah. three, at least three, if you're a guy. <laughs> <laughs> one for each hand, and then the other one goes somewhere else. Yeah, well, <laughs> actually, I'm not going to put the women down on that either. Maybe they, they're looking oh, forward yeah. to the haptic feedback device. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. So we have... Uh, <laughs> and there it is. There it is. Uh, moving on. Indie games. Innovations. We have Indie Game Stand, which is uh, some sort of website where you're going to be able to check out indie games. Pay what you want. Yeah. One um, cent. <laughs> There's a new game every 96 hours. <laughs> 96. I bought two or three games from them. That, that uh, describes the like indie development market at the moment. <laughs> yeah. In a nutshell, right there. The There's a new game with the uh, problem with the indie scene is there there are a lot of good games out there coming from the indie scene, but there are also a lot of bad ones, and yeah. it's just a time to shift through them all to find which one's the good one, which one's the bad one. Yeah. Like a scapegoat or. Space Chem. Um, you should take a look at some of the pictures. I own both of those. <laughs> I, I've yet to play either of them. You own them? I, I own Space Goat and, and... Or Space Goat. <laughs> Escape Goat and Space Chem. And I just haven't played either of them. I don't know why I had them or how I got them. But now, is this in any way related to YouTube? Or do they just have their own YouTube channel? Because I have another link here that leads to YouTube. Indie games. This I guess it's just their channel. Channel. Pro right? Probably their channel on YouTube, where they have a bunch Indie of developers talking about it, not at anything else. It's it's good. So they're trying to build this as it's going to be. There's only moderate, slight to moderate curation, but just about anybody should be able to put their game up um, as long as it's decent, I guess, and and sell the game. You can have it permanently in their storefront and charge whatever you want, or you can throw it in the the pay what you want ninety six hour sale. Um, 
How does that work, though? Because everyone that I see is, it's on sale, buy now, three ninety nine, eight dollars $8. Well, then why do I pay what I want? I, I don't know. If I'm going to spend, think... why is there a price if it's whatever I want? Well, not not all games are going to be uh, pay what you want. Oh, but every game so, on the front page is, okay. Yeah, sort of their featured selection type thing. Um, and I've, back when this, before they opened up this storefront, um, back when it was just only pay what you want, 96 hours, I visited the site and checked out things. Um, most of them you can get away with. They suggest you just you pay 10 bucks, I think, by default, but you can pay whatever you want. And it seemed decent enough. You don't have to download a client. Everything is DRM free. And, well, there's um, a game. There's a game here. Ninety nine levels to hell. They want to charge ten dollars. It says ten dollars or pay what you want. And the average price paid is a dollar thirty two. Yeah, there you go. There that's you what I'd say. Like, yeah, the people have spoken. <laughs> yeah. And there's a couple yeah. top contributors, and one of the top top <coughs> contributors paid eleven dollars and eleven cents. It's oh, that's probably a guy that worked on it. <laughs> it's anonymous. <laughs> he didn't even <coughs> use his real name, so who knows? <laughs> It's whoever worked on its mom. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, don't diss the moms. They help us. <laughs> I, I think Feel it's good it's about decent. ourselves. Um, hopefully, they keep it up. I've, as far as indie game stand goes, they've got nothing but goodwill with me. I thought it was gonna be just one of these one-off sites that you never hear from again because for a while there was all these different bundle sites and all this different stuff and. All, a lot of them just seem to have faded into nothing, but this one just stuck around. And for how long? Do you know? By any chance? Uh, in, in the game stand, uh, yeah. they've been around at least a year. <laughs> I know that much. There this is no be. about us, so I can't find out about them. Uh, what they've been doing? Don't know. Okay. Uh, you know, it's I beg them at a year, maybe a little bit more. Well, if you were to make a game, would you put it here, Pam? I I plan to, I in oh. fact plan to. I um, I sort of recently wrote down the list of all the different places I can, um, make sure my game is sold. This next game after I sort of make the PC version, and it's a long list. And Indie Game Stand is definitely on that list. It's a long list. Yeah, I mean, it's, I I don't want to start my computer right now, but I can just go through no. the list. There's so many different places I can sell games now. Hmm. Perhaps we should um, talk about that. Well, I want to talk about that in another episode. Okay. How to get your game out there and where to go and that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, let's talk about another game, Alien Rage. There is a trailer out there for this game, which uh, is available on Steam. Should be available on Steam right now. Good bucks. Yep. And let, let's play some of that launch trailer that I have. I don't want too much volume. Uh, blast your way through armies of aliens. <laughs> Never heard that before. Except no. right, let's skip ahead to where at least it's aliens, not scenes. zombies. Yeah. The zombie aliens. Ah, <laughs> zombie aliens. <laughs> the the alien zombies from space. <laughs> now the the shooting, so there must be heavy metal. It looks mm -hmm. very doomish. It. Looks like a lot of damn That's fun. Very, yeah. And the guns look like Unreal. Sound like it's Unreal. It's on Unreal Engine. Okay, That's then nice. they use this. That's why. It does not look very fast-paced, which is fine. I prefer not to play crazy fast-paced like Quake Live. It was fun when I was younger, but now I'm like, <laughs> some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, so, I saw probably that same trailer, and I was very interested in this game because it looked like a lot of dumb fun. It's it's a, sort of that bald space marine fighting aliens, and there's lots of explosions, and I'm like, okay, that sounds good to me. And I've seen some gameplay videos and some reviews, and as people are sort of playing this game, and most were kind of trashing it, I'm like, this looks like a ton of fun. How are people saying this is a bad game? But some people were saying that um, it's it doesn't go all in. It it um it has an old school feel, 
in terms of maybe the pace mm -hmm. and how simple things are, but then they've got a regenerating health system. So you've got to sort of duck behind the corners and wait it out and, instead of having health kits. But then they have, I don't know, um, a score system. So it, people felt that it was a bad mixture of old school and modern mechanics, and it didn't work out well. The gameplay I saw looked fantastic. Well, you're right. It does have a meta score of 55 over on Steam. Yeah, it's. it's it has single-player multiplayer. does not say anything about co-op, so you're not going to be doing this with your friends, just against them. <laughs> yeah, I, once it goes on sale, I'm not going to pay 20 bucks for it, but once once it goes on sale, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, because it, it looked ridiculous. I mean, this guy's shooting, shooting people with just a normal assault rifle, but there's like blood flying out at impossible angles and explosions everywhere for no reason and I'm thinking to myself this is good <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is just insane um, although a lot of the levels look the exact same that was a problem it's just got a touch of serious sound about it yeah <clears throat> so I don't know and these are from the same guys that made uh, Sniper Elite hey <laughs> no, is this, is this a Sniper Elite or is it some Ghost Warrior? It's probably oh. a Ghost Warrior. Big difference. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's two Sniper games. <laughs> okay. All right, well, there you go. When it goes on for on sale, 10 bucks this Christmas or Thanksgiving. <laughs> Very soon. And then gift it to him. Uh, <laughs> we have a... <laughs> Another one here called uh, Light D Dying Light. Now this is being put together by Techland. If you remember Techland, those are the guys who did the Zombie Island, you know, Dead Island. The zombies on the island where you yeah. run around and it looks very boring, and then it gets really interesting, and then you're like, okay, I don't need to ever play this again because I just played the <laughs> same role, same process for the last 30 hours, and I'm bored to hell. So let's get a an expansion. No, this, they're saying this is not an expansion. This is going to be a different game. It's made me laugh because they're trying to to justify that it's a different. You know, it's different. It's a different game, and everything I've seen, it looks exactly the same. Like that, you got yeah. the ridiculous melee weapon. The only thing that's added is you can kind of like mirror's edge it around a bit. Yeah, I think that's probably the only big difference. I guess there's dynamic data data night which well, there was in uh Dead was Island, it? wasn't it? I think so. Uh yeah, I think there was. Okay. Morpheus says every game is where you have to kill zombies. Well what if we put together a game where your goal is to protect the zombies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the more zombies that live, the better your score. Yeah, look at that. That is just like Mirror's Edge. It's, but so it's the same so environment kind of thing where you're just running yeah. through this town and there are zombies. Yeah, there are zombies. Yeah. I think this yeah. Takes, it takes place on an island as well, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's probably because that's the one. The, it's like the crisis thing where they that's just their engine. <laughs> <laughs> How is this not another dead island? This is that's dead what island. I'm getting at. Like it's exactly like it, and they're trying to 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 say it's they're, they're doing trying really hard to say that it's not, and it's. If so they did the same thing with Riptide, they said that was technically another game, didn't they? Which Riptide it is. It's just a. It's a slightly refined Dead Island. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. been playing it this weekend, since it's it's free on Steam this weekend, and um, I've been playing it quite a lot because I sort of. It's been a while since I played it. And I kind of missed it, and um, it's slightly refined, but it's the same game. And this, I mean, having just played Dead Island Riptide last night and looking at this, it is Dead Island. You can't trick me. It looks, it visually, it looks exactly the same. Yeah. Like, it's the, you know, the, uh, like, Latin America architecture. It's like, it looks just the same. Apart from you can climb on things. Yeah, he's climbing a telephone pole. Why don't you just do that all the time to keep away from zombies? I'm pretty sure they just too. they quite literally just stole the animations from from Mirror's Edge. <laughs> mm. 
Well, uh, this is this is one of the games that was being shown over at uh, Eurogamer, right? Eurogamer Expo is going on last week, this past week. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh huh. Um, there's a few videos out there, but mm, I haven't heard anything new or innovative. Hey, the TV still works. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of an apocalypse when TV doesn't get interrupted. It's probably Fox News. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is, is no, zombie no zombie apocalypse. apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the work of immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, she's gonna slow you down. You better kill her. Yeah. Yeah. It's best. Best to just do it now. What was she <laughs> drawing the wall with? Sheer terror. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, apparently they they've got something here where the the zombies are easy to kill in the daytime, but when it gets to night, the zombies become, I guess, more frequent and harder to kill. I don't know. And then you can parkour your way out of it. Yes, vampire zombies. <laughs> Um, and that's supposed to be sort of the new trick. And so then you can parkour. If he was able to just go down and kick that door open, why was he not able to just go down and kick the door open the other way? Because it was locked. <laughs> they just kicked it. Just like <laughs> I don't know. Tapped it with his foot. Like, oh, jeez. So, I don't... They should just... I think they should just set it in the Dead Island universe, call it Dead Island 3, be done with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we I think we all agree Dead Island was it it's it started off as fun. It was nice. It just didn't vary itself enough. And that was yeah. part of the yeah. biggest problem. And, and that they made you work so hard to get guns. Yeah. For real benefit after it. Like you could kill human people really easily with them, but it was like, well, I don't really see human people that often. Right. So I just do that here. You know, maybe it will tie into the Dead Island universe. I don't know. Even though well, I wouldn't like mind if they just yeah, if they just said this was a dead. It's the fact that they're trying to pretend that it's a completely different like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's call it what it is. Yeah. In, <laughs> I mean, it's the same company, same engine. So the same animations. <laughs> same animation. Same. Same gameplay, but this is a different game. Hmm. Oh, you I can see why much. they're trying to do it because the, the the problems that Dead Island had when it first came out, where they you know accidentally released the Xbox code on the PC. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Um, like I can see why they're trying to distance themselves from it a little bit, and the matchmaking problems and all the other issues. But it's almost like they're just trying so hard they're drawing even more attention to the fact that yeah. it's the same thing. Look at a modded electrical knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah the exactly same knife the same is in yeah, yeah. There, is, there is no difference. No, there isn't. I did I, I, I did like their weapon system, the way they had that. You go around collect things and build them. I know some I of you did. guys hated the idea that you had to fix them. That right. was yeah. I like. Well, it's not that you had to fix them. It was that you had to fix them so frequently. Right. Yeah, it's um, only like a couple of zombies you could take down with one, wasn't it? And then you. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, it's now broken, and you have to fix it. It's just like. Isn't it the same enemy type? That's, that's the same back? tank. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Like, and it just it just bugged me because there's uh, there's a quote somewhere of them being this is not Dead Island. It's a much more serious. Um, game, you know, it's much more mature, and then you see him running around with a knife with a nine volt <laughs> battery. So, yeah, because <laughs> that works. You can give somebody anything more than a slight tickle with a nine volt battery tied to it. Hold that your tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he didn't get electrocuted. He's got to have his tongue out, and he's got to be standing in a bucket of water. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, moving on. Uh, un there was also a uh, some sort of reveal coming from uh, Unreal with the new Unreal Engine 4 character aesthetics showing off what the new engine can do. Um, I don't like these videos because never do they actually happen. 
in the game. I, I, and, you oh, never see the okay. game where this actually. That's a good is, point. Is done, but they're showing you what can be done and what the engine can do for you. So maybe you want to go out there and develop your game on their engine, which is not a bad option. I mean, even though I say it like it's a joke, it's not. It looks Might cool. Well what they're doing. <laughs> Which we saw parts of these before in one of the previous videos. Yeah. Mm. It looks cool enough. Uh, of course, I think everybody just wants to see a game that looks just as cool. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully we'll get that. We'll see, though. This, when I saw this, um, and I didn't see it at the native resolution, the, I, I don't think I, when I first saw it, I didn't see it at 1080p. Um, I had trouble discerning whether or not it was a pre-rendered movie. Because it looked that good. It is. And I saw it. Isn't it? It is, it is it all. Is, no, apparently, according to them, this is that what you saw with the full clip is all real time happening on some hardware. I don't know. I thought it was pre rendered on their engine. Okay. No, it's, it, they, say it's, they say it's real time. And so that's what's so impressive about it. You can, once you see it at the full resolution, you can sort of, it just feels a little bit different somehow. You can say, okay, well, I can kind of see that kind of feels like real time all of a sudden now. I don't know what that is, but that is the case. Um, but I'll be damned if it doesn't look pre-rendered for the most part. Mm. It does. You're right. It looks good. Yeah. So, but let's see again. What's the next step? I mean, how much further can you go before things look weird and are no longer fun to play? Right. <laughs> That's always a, a, a tough one. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's let's look, let's talk about Rockstar a little bit and uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, which say they uh, sold out, uh, not sold out, but they sold like a billion copies or something insane. They, I thought they, they made, made a billion, billion profit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, billion profit. Okay, that's pretty amazing that they. S but I don't know. It's pretty amazing that they sold that many to all these console players. That's an insane amount of money. <laughs> that's that amazing. is a lot of money. You start talking billions, that's it just goes beyond comprehension for for individual. Well, they had a few hundred people working around the clock on this game for a couple of years. That's a lot of money to be putting into that's, a game. And so I'm guessing they made it back based on uh in the information they put forth there. The uh ne but now they're also talking about the multiplayer because now that the game is released, you they're trying to release or they're they are releasing? No. They're releasing it on uh, in a couple of days, October first. Yeah, the on live is going going live in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. GTA Online, which is just multiplayer, and you have to buy the real game in order to play this. Yeah, and it's not going to be any sort of MMO separate subscription or anything crazy like that, right? Nope. This is just Don't the name for the so. multiplayer component. No, but we uh, we do have to worry about release issues. Uh, how many times have you jumped into a, a, a first-timer multiplayer game and nothing works because they weren't ready for that <laughs> kind of traffic? I think we're going to see a lot of that with Grand Theft Auto Online. Probably so. There was something I read that said something like, um, we've, we're going to release it and we've been testing it a lot internally, but please bear with us if, if mm, it, there you go. Yeah, if yeah. It, it doesn't work. Especially when you consider the amount of copies they have sold. Yeah. Everyone's going to try it at some point, providing they've got internet connection. That's a lot of people. Yeah. But Poor you have game to that has never Xbox. done something like this. Well, how much did the game cost? 60 bucks, I think. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has to buy it at 60 bucks. One million, one billion by 60. One Actually, that's they're talking profit or s probably sales. So we're talking about um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, about um, 17 million people trying to play online at the same time. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Have fun with that. Yeah. Um, I've, this still annoys me that there's no announcement for a PC. Well, there is something, but well, I don't I think it's, I think it's fake <laughs> because we're talking that? about some sort of um. What country is this? Denmark I forget what country it is. Yeah, it maybe I don't think it's, a, but that's pretty close to De Denmark or something. Uh, anyway, um, there is a Norwegian. No, Norway. Uh, 
a Norway uh, listing, Norwegian listing. There is a for Grand Theft Auto Five PC, which well, they are saying is rumors all around March. the place about these sorts of things. There was rumors that Amazon for a bit had a a PC pre-order uh, right. page up for a bit. So I've been hearing bits and pieces from all over the place, but nothing's set in stone. <laughs> All like, the, oh, did you see this? Did you see that? But no like, one's actually got a evidence of it. I'd be perfectly happy if they went, yeah, we're doing one. It's going to take us a couple more months to to get it done. Fine, I'll, I'll. That's good. I can. I'll wait. It's just the fact that there's nothing. It's just it's yeah. annoying me. Maybe they'll wait till after the the Xbox and PlayStation versions, the the new generation of those consoles. Maybe afterwards. Maybe they don't want to ruffle any feathers. Same as what Welsh said. I am actually quite. From what I've heard, everyone who's bought it has enjoyed it, and I want to I play know. this game. I want and to play I it as well. I nearly went like... and bought it for the Xbox. I nearly did, and I was like, "Well, hold on." I I'm so <laughs> close to buying it on the PlayStation, and I think I think I'm gonna break and just end up buying it. But if 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 they were to then suddenly you know tomorrow go, no, nope, we're doing a PC version. You know, it's coming out next year. Uh, that would I'd be fine. I'd stop wanting to buy it until it comes out on the PC. I don't know. I, just, I wonder if, if Rockstar are doing it on purpose just to uh, generate it, some extra hype. It hits the PC so far after the real after all this hype and, and announcement, uh, and after everybody starts has finished talking about it, that it's no longer exciting. Well, I don't know. I I think that's a good time to play games like this that much last... later after everybody's done because. You don't get sucked up into the hype machine. You 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 review it much more fairly. I guess I need the hype machine in order to maybe get me to buy yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just just all they have to do is go. Yeah, we're doing it. Even they don't even have to give a release date. All they have to do is say they're doing it, and that would be enough. I'd be like, okay, fine. Now let me know when it's done. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and maybe maybe the console sales, maybe they're just sort of, they don't want to jeopardize any console sales, and that's why they aren't saying anything. I I don't know. Well, so you could be right about the the PS4 and the Xbox One. They, they, they're waiting until that is done. Yeah. Mm. Because I think there are people like us, a number of people who are saying, well, if they make a PC version, I'm just going to wait till they, they release that. I'm not going to buy the console version. So mm. maybe that's the reason they aren't saying anything. I don't know. Which could be would be a shady move. Because you're going to get the money either way. Yeah. I think a lot of what Rockstar does is a bit shady. Like the hot <laughs> coffee, mo- hot coffee incident. I think that was. You know what's really planned. interesting about, yeah. about um, Rockstar is they barely have to do any advertising anymore. Very true. Like they don't. Yeah, like they, I guess the fact that they've just built it up their own name so much. But I find when they do do advertising, they do it well. They do like, advertising, definitely. Yeah. So I, I don't I know had what would laugh. happen if they a stopped. A couple of days, a couple of days before release, I had to stay and work. We had people in doing electrics. Uh, so me and a colleague were there, and we put the radio on. I can't remember what radio station it was, but it was Grand Theft Auto Night. They called it Grand <laughs> Theft Radio, and it was it was just standard radio, but it was um, with their version. Oh, of it. No, it was what's the guy Laszlo? You know Laszlo from the radio. On the yeah, show. he <laughs> yeah. was on the show, and they were like doing normal songs, but then they were actually playing snippets from the Grand Theft Auto radios with um, <laughs> Shady Acres and all that sort of thing <laughs> mixed in with it, and it was a really good show. And we had it on all night, and it was just like making us want to play the game so bad. I think it was the night before release. I so do like did those radio really well. stations, yeah. Yeah, and it was just bits of, like, different shows all all between it, and the fact they had him on the radio station as well was really good. <laughs> it's like, I, I want it to be on the PC because, you know, it'll look better, it'll, it'll run better, I can get more enjoyment out of it on the PC because I can wear my head, my nice headset. And But I think I'm just going to end up breaking and just going, you know what, I'll just I'll just buy it on the PlayStation and hate myself a little bit. Because <laughs> I guarantee you the second I do, there'll be a PC announcement. 
That's that's why I'm just waiting on you to break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, to break. <laughs> like, I'll go out, I'll get it home, and then I'll like fire up my laptop for some reason, and they'll be like, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> You heard exactly. it here, everybody. Welsh yep. is the reason it's. I've not. got to take. I've got to take one team. <laughs> Just Welshy tagged in a load of Twitter uh, things. <laughs> Buy the game already. <laughs> Does it work if you just go there and give them 60 bucks? Don't even come home with the game so that you just come home with the easy version. <laughs> I, paid, I paid for it. I don't want to play it. Just take it. Give it to somebody on the street. <laughs> just don't make it a child because we don't want that problem. Yeah. yeah, there were some conversations on that, but I'm not going to get into that nonsense because that's all it was. It was nonsense. Just nonsense. Yeah, we've already discussed that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, no. and, and that's ridiculousness. Mm. All right, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna wrap up our our, our day today. Uh, you guys have anything else you want to talk about? Mm. No. Mm. Oh, um, yes. Next. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I was gonna say next week. I wanna hopefully after the show stream the game I've been working on. Okay. I figured out how to stream that and. Figured it out, and uh, I should be able to show people stuff and just get feedback and see what people think. After? Not during? Uh. <laughs> Give us a taste. Uh, Give us a taste uh, during. We could edit, edit that into something truly uh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, it's, yeah, that's all. Good. All right, then I'm going to close up. Oh, and by the way, the ending video that I have for you, it's... I love these different cultures and what they think is great advertising versus <laughs> not and let's just say this is all about a love affair of with a USB lighter oh <laughs> god <laughs> it's very interesting all right so i want to thank our host to take a, uh, for taking the time out to chat today breezy thank you very much for joining us today no problem well see thank you very much for joining us today no problem ham thank you for joining us Thanks for having me. Awesome. So on that, um, I'm going to thank uh, thank everyone else for showing up today. And as I'm playing the opening, <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right, everyone. Go go out, play some games, have some fun, and we'll be back next week with another show, another group of topics. Adios. Thanks for watching this week, and come back next week when we will broadcast another live show. Details for this and all past episodes can be found at modsonair.com. We welcome your feedback via email at mailbag at modsonair.com. And please consider subscribing to modsonline.com to support our show. The opinions expressed by individuals on this program are not necessarily the opinions of our sponsors, owners, or partners. And... I guess the volume's not important. <laughs> I don't know when G became J I I. It's good for the environment, by the way. You'll save lots of money. He has a love affair with a candle. Now he's in bed with a candle smoking afterwards. How long are their adverts? I don't know what goes on. Smoke at work? Sure, we all smoke at work. Uh, the match ladies leaving the old lighter. <laughs> and then the angry USB lighter says, You will love me. And there they go. Now they're ha having an affair.
It's no wonder the Japanese are so freaky. What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> <laughs> it's 